Have you ever had a really big idea? An idea so huge it almost sounds like science fiction? Well, a man named Sam Altman has one of those. He leads a company called OpenAI, the folks who created ChatGPT. His dream is to build something called AI factories. Think of them not as buildings with smokestacks, but as giant brains made of computer chips. These brains would be so powerful, they could help us solve some of the world's biggest problems, curing diseases, discovering new kinds of clean energy. It's an exciting, world-changing idea. This isn't just about making smarter chatbots. Sam Altman is thinking on a planetary scale. He imagines a future where artificial intelligence is a utility like electricity or water, available to everyone to help them create, learn, and build amazing things. To get there, we need computers that are millions of times more powerful than the ones we have today. And building them is a challenge that's bigger than anything we've ever tried before. It's a big, big plan. And it all starts with a single powerful word, gigawatt. So what is this gigawatt we keep talking about? Let's break it down. A watt is a measure of power. A bright LED light bulb might use about 10 watts. Your microwave oven might use 1000 watts, a kilowatt. Now imagine a thousand of those microwaves running all at once. That's a megawatt, but a gigawatt, that's 1000 megawatts. It's a billion watts. A gigawatt is a massive amount of energy, enough to power around 750,000 homes at the same time. It's the kind of power a large city needs on a hot summer day. Now, usually when we talk about gigawatts, we're talking about giant power plants. A big nuclear power plant might generate one gigawatt. But Sam Altman's plan isn't about powering homes, it's about powering computers. These are supercomputers packed with special chips that get very, very hungry for electricity. Think about your brain. When you think hard about a math problem, your brain uses more energy. AI computers are the same, but on a much bigger scale. They are thinking all the time, processing huge amounts of information. Each tiny chip inside these AI factories is like a little brain cell working incredibly hard. A gigawatt of computing power means you need a gigawatt of electricity to run it, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And finding that much energy, especially clean energy, is one of the biggest puzzles we have to solve. So what exactly is an AI factory? It's a new name for a new kind of building. A massive data center designed specifically for artificial intelligence. Inside, instead of assembly lines, you'd find endless rows of computer racks. Each rack is packed with thousands of special computer chips called GPUs graphics processing units. These chips are incredibly good at the math AI needs to learn and think. The goal is to churn out intelligence like a car factory churns out cars. The sheer scale is what sets this plan apart. The vision isn't to build one or two facilities, the goal is to build a gigawatt's worth of them, again and again. Altman's vision suggests doing this every single week to meet global AI demand. That continuous, rapid construction is revolutionary and challenging. It requires a perfectly coordinated supply chain. You need a constant flow of computer chips, servers, cooling systems and all the other parts for a data center. You also need land to build on, and construction crews to assemble it at lightning speed. It's a logistical ballet on a global scale. Every piece must arrive at the right place at the right time week after week. More than anything, this shows a shift in thinking. For a long time, the limit was software. The smarts. Now the bottleneck is hardware and the energy to run it. The AI factory plan aims to smash that barrier. You can't build an AI factory without the engines that make it run. In the world of AI, those engines are GPUs. And the king of GPUs is a company called NVIDIA. You might know them from video games, but it turns out the same processing is perfect for training artificial intelligence. Their chips are the powerful brains inside almost every major AI system today, making NVIDIA one of the most important companies in this revolution. Sam Altman's plan needs millions of these chips. This is why you hear about companies spending billions of dollars just to buy them. NVIDIA is investing huge amounts of money, tens of billions of dollars, to design even more powerful chips for the future. This creates a powerful partnership. OpenAI has the vision, and NVIDIA has the tools to build it. To get a sense of just how big these AI factories can get, look no further than a project with a very cool name, Stargate. This is a rumored collaboration between Microsoft and OpenAI, and the numbers are, honestly, mind-boggling. The plan is to build a single, gigantic AI supercomputer facility that could cost as much as $100 billion. That's more money than was spent on the entire Apollo program that sent humans to the moon, even when you adjust for today's dollars. This isn't just a data center, it's a new wonder of the modern world. 
Stargate is planned to be built right here in the United States where there's access to land and power. The project would be rolled out in phases over several years, with the final phase projected to require an astonishing 5 gigawatts of electricity. That's the equivalent of five large nuclear power plants all dedicated to running a single computer. It is a high-stakes gamble that could accelerate human progress in incredible ways. This brings us to the biggest question of all. Where will all the power come from? Building AI factories that consume gigawatts of power is an amazing idea, but it's just a dream if you can't plug them in. Our existing electrical grids are already strained in many parts of the world. Adding dozens of new digital cities would be an immense challenge. This is the great energy quest of our time. For these AI factories to be a force for good, the energy they use has to be clean. If we power this AI boom by burning more fossil fuels, we could end up causing more problems than we solve, accelerating climate change. That's why the push for AI is also becoming a push for a clean energy revolution. We need a massive build-out of solar, wind, geothermal, next-generation nuclear power. The demand from AI could be the very thing that finally forces us to modernize our energy systems and move to a truly sustainable grid. Sam Altman is very optimistic about this. He believes that the problem is also the solution. He argues that the incredible intelligence we create with these AI factories could be put to work solving our energy problems. Imagine an AI that could discover a new, super-efficient material for solar panels, design a safer, cheaper nuclear reactor, manage a complex electrical grid with perfect efficiency. By investing in AI, he argues we are also investing in the tools we need to achieve energy abundance for everyone. So, is this all just a wild dream, or can we really do it? The truth is nobody knows for sure. The challenges are enormous. It will require unprecedented levels of investment, engineering, global cooperation, but human beings are pretty good at tackling huge challenges when we put our minds to it. We built canals, we built railways, we went to the moon. Building the energy and computing infrastructure for the age of AI might be our next great project. It's a journey into the future, and it's happening right now. Construction is beginning on renewable projects. Science is all about asking what if. And this is one of the biggest what ifs of our lifetime. With powerful allies and unprecedented investment backing the vision, projects are already beginning in places like Texas. Sam Altman has once again set a vision so ambitious that the world is left wondering, are we truly ready for a gigawatt a week? If it works, OpenAI won't just be training larger models, it will be at the center of a historic transformation. Let's see what happens.